the CW-21 is what happens when the engineers at Curtis decided to take the United States Army Air Force's usual fighter plane requirements, shred it into a million bits and throw it out the window in a burning trash can and build a pure performance machine with whatever they had on hand. That being a two-seater utility plane redesigned to wield the humble but capable Wright R1829 cylinder radial engine with about 850 stout pony powers with just about a thousand available on takeoff. Despite its awkward appearance, the Demon is a lightweight rocket that can blast straight off the airfield and sustain a relatively steep rate of ascent on war emergency power thanks to an 18.2 meter a second climb rate provided by its comically oversized engine, which at the end of the day brings it to a relatively pedestrian 505 kilometers per hour at around 3700 meters. In regards to flight performance, the aircraft is an anomaly at its tier, capable of taking off with a pace that even beats some aircraft a few battle ratings above it with its excellent climb rate, only faltering in its ability to retain any sort of energy while performing any maneuvers due to weighing only a few hundred pounds more than some full-sized modern trucks. And due to that yee yee ass engine being so damn heavy, it can be tricky to land without the pilot getting distracted by a rope of lucky coins left on the runway, and slamming the brakes to a pathetic but predictable end of existence. This means that while it is an excellent dogfighter in short bursts of turning, climbing, and either its ability to do long range chases after anything that is more aerodynamic than a brick will outrun it, and probably kill it via bigger brain tactics. Unfortunately for offensive armament the engineers at Curtis could only shuffle together a pair of Browning M1919 and M2 machine guns with enough rounds for eventually reverse engineering most anything into submission with good trigger discipline. While this is more than sufficient for tearing apart low tier and more lightly built aircraft, it's a trickier proposition to take out larger multi-engine whales and anything that has any semblance of armor on board without literally dumping all your ammunition at whatever poor bastard that happens to cross your sights. Speaking of lightly built, this aircraft lacks armor, or even self-sealing fuel tanks, which means a poorly chosen fight can result in an immediate cessation of your existence faster than the UN can run out the door when Big China walks it. No! Now, it is time to go over modules and crew skills and just like with any relatively high performing meme machine, it's best to grab all the performance and survivability mods first, while upgrading the belts as fast as possible, and besides the upgraded machine guns the demon has no time for playing with stones or fireworks. As for the crew skills, it is important that you quickly make a man out of your pilot with focuses on stamina and g-tolerance, as you will be throwing him around with the force of a great typhoon while unleashing a raging fire of traces upon the enemy, along with vitality as there is no armor whatever protecting you from whatever evil comes your way. And that is how you fly the Curtis Wright Model 21. Now get out there, and wield the mandate of heaven over anyone stupid enough to go kung fu fighting with your nimble rocket plane. Oh, what do you want to go to the